Welcome to Allman Partners, your money segment. Today we're going to talk about first home buyers. As we know, it's a very hard market for our children to buy their first home. And I, I know that all too well because my children are looking buying their first home. So the good news is there is some great schemes and grants available for, for our children. And if you're like me wanting to help your kids along, there are some ways you can do that in a very tax effective manner. So let's talk about the first one. The first scheme that's available is called the First Home Loan Super Saver Scheme. And what that means is you can put, or your children can put money into superannuation, claim a tax deduction for it, and take that money out for their home deposit. So how does it work? First of all, your children can salary sacrifice into superannuation out of their salary. The maximum that can go into superannuation in one year is So keep an eye on that. If they've saved a deposit, they can put up to $15,000 into their superannuation as a personal concessional contribution. And how does that work? Well, quite, quite simple. If they put $15,000 into superannuation, it'll be taxed at 15%. They can claim that $15,000 off their total earnings for the year. And if they're in the, uh, if they're earning say $60,000 a year, that's nearly $3,000 savings that they'll get as a tax return. And they can use that extra money rather than paying it in tax to the government, they can put that into their, their home deposit. The next year, they can do another $15,000. The maximum that you can pull out of superannuation under this scheme is $30,000. So if your children can't salary sacrifice and they don't have a lot of money saved up for their deposit and you're wanting to help them, rather than you just giving them that money, it would be much better to put that $15,000 each year into superannuation and then they'll get that uh, $6,000 extra um, by doing that. The second one that's available is, in, in this market, property prices are going really strong. The market's hot, so getting a full deposit might be a challenge. The government have recognised this as a federal government, and so they've bought in what they call First Home Loan Deposit Scheme. And that means that your children can buy their first home with a minimum of 5% deposit. Now normally, if they went to the bank and only had 5%, they'd have to pay mortgage insurance which can cost thousands and thousands of dollars. So the government have basically underwritten that under this scheme. So 5% deposit, no mortgage insurance, another great saving for your children. Lastly, the uh, First Home Buyers gr Grant. Most of us know a little bit about this. It basically means that if your children buy or build a brand new home, they can get $15,000 towards uh, a grant towards their deposit uh, and that's going to make a big difference as well. Just remember there's always rules around these things so if you're thinking about um, helping your children or you want to give them some advice show them this clip from today and uh, if you need some assistance give the advisors here at Allman Partners a call. All the best.